Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and I am super excited to introduce Divi Dashboard 2.0. We have completely redesigned and rebuilt the plugin from the ground up and then added a bunch of really awesome new features. If you're not familiar, Divi Dashboard is, it's one of our longest standing plugins actually that was originally released in 2016, and it allows you to create a custom WordPress dashboard using Divi. And so rather than having the boring WordPress dashboard with the welcome screen and, and the WordPress getting started content, uh, you can create content that is branded to you or your client. You can add contact forms, you can add video, walkthrough video, so you can do whatever you wanna do uh, with that uh, back in dashboard. And so it's a really cool way to uh, make your clients feel really special and that they're not just getting another WordPress website, they're getting something unique that's branded to, to them or, or, or whatever. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you here. So um, let's go ahead and share my screen. Um, now we are launching this uh, 2.0 plugin as part of our big Black Friday sale. So the 2021 Black Friday sale here at Divi Life, uh, releasing 24 new products total, uh, including Divi Dashboard, including uh, Divi Modules Pro, which is a bunch of new modules uh, with many more on the way. So lots of cool stuff here. And then an exclusive 2021 Black Friday bundle with uh, our e-commerce shopping cart and plug-in Divi Sidecar. Uh, all of these are, are, are new new products, um, five different layout packs, 150 headers, um, a bunch of uh, e-commerce child themes, Divi Shoe, Divi Bike Store, Divi Beauty Store. So um, th this is all part of our Black Friday extravaganza, so to speak. So um, so that's kind of what this is, this is uh, coming from. So uh, Divi Dashboard 2.0 is really awesome. It has its all completely redesigned settings panel. Um, so, but before I show you that, let's show you the before. So this right here is the before. This is the default classic WordPress dashboard with this welcome screen here. Now with Divi Dashboard 1.0, we would replace just this content here. So uh, just the, the, the welcome area. And that's why the plugin was originally Divi Dashboard Welcome. We've kind of renamed it to just Divi Dashboard because now with 2.0, you can replace this entire screen. We have the full screen mode, which will replace all of this, uh, get rid of all these widgets and just have your custom dashboard page. And so I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. You can still do the classic version and just replace the welcome screen if that's the, what you wanna do. Um, so let's go ahead and, and dive in. So this is the, the settings panel. Of course, it looks like uh, Divi's UI. We're using Divi's UI elements and styling. So it feels familiar and part of Divi. Um, and so basically the way that this settings is laid out is you control everything per user role. So with 1.0, the plugin would really only work for admins, right? Because WordPress by default only shows the dashboard to admins and we had some code snippets to enable it for other user roles. Now that happens automatically and it's built into the plugin and you can actually create different dashboards for different user roles. So if you wanted one for admins and one for editors that looks different, you could do that. Um, and right now it's just showing the default user roles that come standard with WordPress because I just have a very basic install. Um, but if you install WooCommerce or membership plugins or any plugin that's going to create a custom user role on your WordPress website, then it's going to show up here. Those user roles are going to show up here and then you have the ability to add uh, different dashboards for those different user roles. So for example, WooCommerce will add, I think subscribers, uh, or that's WooCommerce subscriptions. It'll add um, customers and, and different things like that. Membership plugins going to add members and so you can create a custom dashboard for those user roles. So um, you just select the dashboard that you want here. And then um, we have a couple different settings here that we'll talk about and get to. Um, but before you can really select a dashboard, you need to create a new dashboard. And so um, let me just make sure I'm clear. So if you're an all access pass member, you can download the plugin in the Divi Life customer portal under all access pass downloads. So you just come over here, download Divi dashboard 2.0. And then if you want to download the Divi dashboard layout templates. Uh, scroll all the way down to the 2021 Black Friday bundle, select Divi dashboard layouts, click download. Um, and then you can you can have all of those. And then if you wanted to preview all the layouts, go to divi dashboard layouts.divilife.site 
uh, we have the demo and the Black Friday post link there. Uh, and then you can see all the different layouts that we have, all the different dashboard layouts, and you can preview them. Um, so I have already installed the plugin, obviously, on the site. I have already loaded up all the layouts to the Divi library. So um, if you haven't done that, then you can do that and then uh, jump back in and follow along. Um, and then once you create a new dashboard, the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you have the, the Divi Builder enabled. So I'm, I have the Classic Builder in Divi Theme Options. I'm using the Classic Builder. Um, but uh, either way, you need to enable the Divi Builder. So if you click that link, it's going to take you to Divi Theme Options. And you just want to make sure that this is turned on for uh, the dashboard so that you can use the Divi Builder to create these custom dashboards. And then once you do that, you just uh, uh, add the... Um, if you're going to use one of our dashboard layouts, you just add that just like you would any other layout. Um, and then that is it. So very simple. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just show you what that looks like here. I'm just going to do not full page mode. Let's set a max height of 800 pixels. And so now instead of that boring WordPress welcome screen, we have something that looks way better. It's simpler. It's, it's branded. You know, I could change these to my company colors. We have some quick links that will still link to the different areas of the site. Um, all of this is automatically set up in all of our, our layouts. Um, we have a contact form. So if your, your client wanted to ask you a question, like, how do I upload images? They can do that directly from their website. So this is a huge value add for clients. They're feeling like they're getting something special, uh, something customized, um, not just a generic WordPress website. Um, so that is just the normal mode. Now I'm going to show you how to do full page mode, which is really cool. So all you do is check the box for full page mode and then close that out. So the dismissible, that is only applicable for normal mode. Actually, I'm going to show you I'm going to show you that really quick, um, is dismissible. So if you have that turned on, it will allow the client uh, to dismiss it here. Uh, and they can always get it back by going to screen options and turning it off. However, most clients won't know how to do that. And so they'll say, I don't know how to get back to uh, you know the area that has all the links and, and the videos or whatever. And so by default, this won't be enabled so they can't dismiss it. And that's probably what we recommend because uh, they don't really need to dismiss it. There's not really any, any reason to do that. But if you want to give them the ability, then you can do that here. Um, okay, let's get back to full page mode. Check the box. Um, when you're using full page mode, just clear that out. We don't want a height, we want it to be full page. And then now this is full page and there's no none of that other WordPress junk uh, all those little widget boxes uh, below of useless stuff. Now it's whatever you want it to be right here in the back end of the website. So I'm just going to show you a couple more of the, the layouts here. Um, so show you layout seven. So this one isn't as optimized for full screen. Um, but you can you could obviously make this background full screen if you wanted to. So yeah, this is kind of a simpler, more client friendly approach with these buttons to manage pages, manage blog posts. So a lot more user-friendly um, contact support. And then of course you could add below it some uh, help videos that'll show them how to use your website. Um, so very cool. I'm just gonna show you one more here that I have loaded up already. So this one here has some Nice colorful blurbs. Again, we got the quick links. We have links to some training. And we have some of our layouts actually have the videos embedded. Um, and so if you wanted the video right there, you could do that. Um, and then again, contact support with a, a little uh, contact form to be able to send them a message or, or for them to send you a message. So um, yeah, very, very cool. Now that is kind of the basic functions of the plugin. The last thing I wanted to show you is a really cool, really exciting feature that we're launching with Divi Dashboard 2.0, uh, and it's the ability to create global dashboards. And so uh, let me just tell you the scenario. If you are someone who creates websites for clients or creating a lot of websites, and you want to have your custom dashboard 
for the client uh, that's branded and everything uh, to your company, your agency. Uh, well, you can do that and you can you know, have the same layout um, that you use and you can um, upload it to, to each site individually. Um, or what you can do is you can create a global dashboard and create it once and store it on your own website or on a demo site or, or somewhere. And then what you do is you turn on this external page feature here and you just pop in the link to your global dashboard. So it has to be on a, a, a live website um, server. Um, and the benefit of that is if you ever wanna make changes, you just make those changes once to your global dashboard and then automatically all of the sites that are set up to use your global dashboard, they're, all, they're automatically gonna see those changes on their site, uh, which is really cool. So if you have uh, you know, some time sensitive information um, you wanted to share with them, uh, maybe a notice that, hey, we, we know uh, website load times um, are slow, we are working on it, you know, whatever, or here's a, a Black Friday promotion, we're giving 20% off our SEO service package, whatever, you could do that. Um, so lots of opportunities there uh, to be able to create something once. And this is actually a highly requested feature with 1.0, so we're super excited to, to be able to release it here in the 2.0 version of this plugin. So I'm just putting the homepage of uh, our website here, divilife.com, because um, I don't have an example of a, a global dashboard set up, um, but this is just to illustrate the idea. Typically, we don't recommend just putting your homepage uh, in the dashboard, not a very good user experience. But you can see here, it loads everything full screen, really nice, uh, right here. So rather than in loading in a, uh, a layout directly from this site, it's loading it externally. So a global dashboard, uh, which is really cool. So a lot of opportunities here. It doesn't have to be just a normal dashboard. You can, you know, put in other content here. Uh, you know, if you have a, like a customer portal or um, invoice system or something, there's a lot of different things you can put in right here in, in their, their, their dashboard. So very, very cool. That is Divi Dashboard 2.0, uh, big release, really excited. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any feature requests. As I mentioned, Global Dashboards was a feature request from customers uh, from the 1.0 version, and we built it in. So if you have any other things that you'd like us to add, let us know, and we will work on getting it added to this plugin. So as a reminder, Divi Dashboard 2.0 release, uh, we're releasing as part of our big Black Friday 2021 extravaganza, where we released a total of 24 new products. So not all of them have been released at the time of this recording, but on Cyber Monday, we're about to release a bunch more awesome new products that we're super, super excited about. So um, uh, yeah, Divi Modules Pro, a lot more in store for this product. Uh, this is just the beginning. A lot of custom modules coming to this plugin. Um, obviously Divi Dashboard 2.0, Royal Commerce 2.0 as well. And then the 2021 Black Friday bundle, 10 brand new products in here. You can get the bundle for free. Obviously, if you get the All Access Pass Lifetime membership, you get the Black Friday bundle, you get the Cyber Monday bundle, and then you get all of our current products, all of our future products, everything. Um, but if you spend $90 or more, you get the Black Friday bundle for free. So if you buy just one a lifetime membership of one plugin, then you're gonna get the Black Friday bundle. Um, honestly though, most people are opting for getting the All Access Pass lifetime membership just because it's an insane value and then with the 30% discount, it's even better. Um, but yeah, so lots of really cool stuff here. Uh, and yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. We're gonna be highlighting more of our new products and, and doing a lot more stuff. So uh, until then, take care, bye-bye.